why have home prices appreciated so much in the last two years? No inventory, duh. Here's the thing, you've had interest rates at all time lows. For a little while we were in the low to mid twos, now we're in the low to mid threes, depending upon if you're buying a primary investment. And really, we've got a shortage right now in this country nationally, um, over five million single family home units keeping up with demand. So, basic law of supply, we've got a massive shortage and we've still got really inexpensive debt. We've got a lot of people that want to buy homes and not enough homes to sell those folks. Earlier this week, uh, we had a young couple as you know, a young daughter, another daughter on the way. They finally got their offer accepted after 16 offers. And these people have 800 credit scores, bunch of money down, everything's perfect. And they were losing out. So here's the thing. We've had massive appreciation. Here in San Diego, you know, in 2021, you had appreciation to the tune of 15 to 20%, depending upon the neighborhood. What we're seeing in 2022 is gonna be somewhere between 10 to 12%. And then it'll scale down from that. But this rapid appreciation has had prices skyrocket. Demand has gone through the roof. Affordability has really gone up. The point is, if you are considering buying real estate, you gotta be fully underwritten or cash, you've got to be ready to go. You have to know your contingencies, your timelines, um, and be really aggressive to take advantage of this market. I think we're going to continue to appreciate 22 and 23. After that, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if you do, but I don't see a big drop coming. I see the pace of appreciation slowing as we catch up to affordability here in this country. So if you have any questions about real estate, whether you are on the fence trying to decide if now is the right time to buy, or you're a seller and you, you know, you've got a bunch of equity in your property, you're not sure how do you leverage that? Do I sell and then move up and buy? Or do I do a cash out refinance, pay off some debt? Maybe I do a cash out refinance and buy my first investment property, build my wealth for my family. There's all sorts of ways that you can leverage the opportunity in real estate. And I'm here to be your mortgage coach. So like this video, ask questions in the comments, feel free to DM me. I am here to help you win in this market.